Hi everyone, welcome to Bench Kings. Today we're going to be starting a new US Men's National Team series where we're going to try to break down the whole entire US squad position by position, going through almost every relevant player. Also, just a heads up, if I do leave a player out, don't get mad, I probably forgot to add him in. Anyways, let's start this US Men's National Team manifesto. Starting off in the goalkeeper position, we have a clear number one, except maybe if you're Matthew Doyle, Zach Steffen. This man is an absolute beauty. Played great when he was on the Columbus Crew, deservantly won Goalkeeper of the Year in 2018, and played phenomenal in 2019 for them as well, until he moved to Man City halfway through the season. He was loaned to Düsseldorf in the Bundesliga and was their starting goalkeeper, and put in his fair share of excellent performances. And as of recently, he's having a chance for Man City's first team because Ederson sadly, or maybe not so sadly in Stefan's case, contracted COVID. Really, I, I do hope that Ederson does get well, but at the same time, I kind of want to see my boy Stefan play just a little. At the time of making this video, he's played six games with City's first team, mainly in the EFL Cup, but he did put on one godly-like performance against Man United in the semifinals, making a save for the cameras against Bruno Fernandes. Unlike a lot of other US goalkeepers, one of Stefan's main strengths is ball distribution. He is very technical with his feet, and the city way of ball possession and moving out of the back is really rubbing off on him. Hopefully he continues to impress and locks down that starting goalkeeper spot on Man City. After Stefan, there's definitely a drop off in talent. I would say there's a bunch of goalkeepers on the same level, not world class, but also not bad by any stretch of the imagination. Some definitely have a lot more upside though. The first of them being Ethan Horvath. Ethan's still only 25 years of age, which is pretty crazy when you think of it because he's been on the scene for quite some time now. As of late, he has lost his starting spot on Club Brugge to Belgium veteran Simon Mignolet, but he did play in the Champions League this season against Zenit and put on a saucy performance even though he did score an unfortunate own goal. Horvath is at a really weird stage in his career where he's either got to step up or switch teams. Really hoping good things in the future for the young man. Next up, there's a lot of goalkeepers in Major League Soccer that can make a shot for that backup goalkeeper position. Matt Turner, Sean Johnson, and Bill Amid are all viable options. Out of the bunch though, Matt Turner definitely has the most upside. He's still only 26 and he's impressed me a lot last season. He came in second for the goalkeeper of the year and made some very impressive saves. Turner is a textbook shot stopper, but his distribution does need a little more work. I've seen too many long passes from Turner that just didn't hit the mark. If he can make a move to a team abroad, I could definitely see him leveling up his game. After this trinity of Turner, Johnson, and Amid, you got your B squad of MLS goalkeepers in Stefan Fry, Tyler Miller, and Brad Guzan. Let's be realistic though, none of these players are going to make an impact, so let's just move to the youngsters. There is a lot of young, hungry goalkeepers that could definitely make waves in the future. The 20-year-old CJ Dos Santos on Benfica's B team, the 23-year-old Jonathan Klinsman on LA Galaxy, the 19-year-old John Paul Scamp on Sporting Kansas City, the recent Austin expansion draft acquisition Brady Scott, and the teenage phenomenon himself. David Ochoa on RSL could all make future appearances. Out of all these players, one has stood out from the rest though. 19 year old David Ochoa. He played great on the 2019 U20 World Cup team and was one of the youngest players. He also won the USL Championship title at Real Marnarks in 2019 and was a starter, game in, game out. This upcoming season, we could definitely see Ochoa take the starting role away from Andrew Putna, which isn't a matter of really if, it's a matter of when. The goalkeeper position looks very bright for the US men's national team as young stars are breaking out left and right. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the first episode and breakdown of the US men's national team. The next episode will most likely be about left backs. Until then, please like, comment, and subscribe for more stellar content. Also, we have a store with a lot of great MLS clothing. I would go check it out if I were you. Thank you, and we'll see you next time.